Mr. Hardtack, you say your ex was ruined when I allegedly dug it up. Oi! It looks pretty good to me. Uh, I'd better not confront Hardtack with his ex. My case might literally disintegrate in my hands. This whole story about your ex is a big fat lie, isn't it? No, sir. Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No, sir. Come on. Oh, you got me, sir. But why? Well, I didn't have anything else to do after you killed me boss and left me without a job. <coughs> oh, I could have charged you with that instead. Oh. Your Honor, I move for a mistrial. Granted, Bailiff Hardtack, as punishment for wasting this court's time, you will be compelled to wear Lizig's wig of foppery until such time as I am no longer tempted to gavel you into a fine paste. Ooh, Ooh it's delightful. I'd like to call Bosun Catherine Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? Aye. Bosun Krebs, could you tell the court what happened on that fateful day? Aye. I was minding my own business at Club 41 with a mug full of grog and some zesty nachos, when all of a sudden that blindfolded Jasper barreled into me, knocked me nacho sauce into me lap, and gave me this disfiguring scar. Machi, machi. Aye, that takes me back. Ooh. Bailiff, supply the prosecutor and the defendant with sketches of the burns for their briefs. Oi, oi, your honor. Lots of luck, kid. Bosun Krebs, you don't really expect this court to believe that the nacho sauce I allegedly spilled onto your leg from this platter actually scarred your leg, do you? Ah, but it did. See for yourself. Hachi machi! Are you sure this is the nacho platter that torched your shapely thigh? Sure as me name is Catherine Krebs. Objection, Your Honor. Defense is stalling for time. Move it along, Counselor! You're lying about this whole nacho business, aren't you? Nay. Are you lying about being a mighty pirate? I'll ask the questions here. Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No. Objection, Your Honor. Defense is badgering the witness. Knock it off, Three Pod! Uh, just a moment, Your Honor. I object. To what? To this trial. To your hat. To the way my beard's itching. I also object to the way that guy's looking at me. Hey. And to this hook. And that, that three board, you will cease your foolish distractions before we come down and cease them for you. Right. Where were we? Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff! Please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig! Aye aye, Your Honor! Well, at least I'm not about to be dissected by a crazy scientist. Now to break out of here, find a lane and use La Esponja Grande to... Hey, what happened to my cool voodoo sponge? 
All possessions will be returned to the prisoner once he has been cleared of all charges. In the likely event that the prisoner is not cleared of all charges, his property will be distributed to his heirs. But I don't have any heirs. That I know of. Then they'll be auctioned off at Yebay. Hey, guard! What do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Your lawyer? Yeah, you might have heard of him. Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Fine. All right, counselor. Judge Grindstump says you got five minutes. That should be more than enough for this piece of scum. I hope you had a good excuse for dragging me out of bed at this ungodly hour. I'm worried about my wife, Counselor. She hasn't sent me a letter in weeks. I wouldn't worry about her, Guybrush. We're taking very good care of her on my estate. Very good care. You scurvy backstabber! I'll... Guard! I'm quite done with my client! I'll get you, Threepwood, if it's the last thing I do! Sorry about that, Mr. Threepwood. I know those prisoners can be a rowdy lot. Think nothing of it, Mr. Hardtack. Now, where can I find a good grog? Club 41's right over there, sir. 